How's it going folks? Jack here with another video. Yeah, uh, just wearing my headphones like this. Don't think about that at all. I might just take them off. Anyways, the last video that Frogman uploaded was pretty damn funny, where he actually ended on Skyblock, which is something that is hilarious since after uploading the previous reaction, I was recommended a video by PewDiePie, like, uh, no, not that old, it was like four years ago, where he too had to play it, but that video was... <laughs> so dumb because it felt like seeing two adults being given like some ikea furniture which i was just saying that because felix is swedish but just to make the analogy work here but where they literally just threw the manual away and just tried to figure out how the skyblock worked and they didn't but in a way in the latest it allowed me to be introduced to this so i'm not coming into this video completely blind and i kind of know what the concept is going about but he is trying to beat it without the start chest which is going to be difficult right because then you need how do you gather your resources how do you get your what this is for the subscriber who asked me to say it like that and lava interesting anyways without further ado let's just jump into the video hello again i have a question for you can you beat Skyblock with one tree? No chest, no water, no cobblestone generator. This was the graveyard oh. I found myself in a few weeks ago. You see, last video I'd been having a wonderful, wonderful time with my friends. Where if any of us died, then we deleted the world and reset. Mm -hmm. After 30 resets, we reached the end where I was knocked into the air and killed by the dragon. Except I wasn't. A portal nope. opened up beneath me and sent me here. To get back, all I Great have to do premise. is beat Skyblock with one tree. And, like before, if I die, the world resets. So, let us begin. Also, I realized that he is actually using the, um, the, the replay mod to do some of these recordings. Because I initially thought that he was just trying to reenact those scenarios like I sometimes will do when I have to, to make like a review for something. If I haven't exactly captured the moment. But yeah, it kind of operates in the same fashion that TF2, but much better. First things first, tree time. <laughs> now, you might be wondering how I go about beating the game with this. Well, that's a great question. Technically, all we need are ender eyes. Then we can find the portal, open it, and kill the dragon. Yep. Ender pearls are easy enough to obtain, but blaze powder is fucked. We need blaze rods, which drop from blazes, which only spawn in the nether, so we need to make a portal, which needs lava, so we need to make a lava farm, and it needs water, so we need to... <laughs> Basically, it's a very long process, and it all begins with... Wood. This tree. With this wood, we need to build this, and then we need to wait for the sun to do this, and now we just need to kill a few skeletons. Yeah, easier um, said than done. <clears throat> well, let's try that again. Cut down the tree, get a bit of wood, stick down the saplings, wait a few minutes, cut down more trees, plant more saplings, get more wood, build more platforms, and, um, uh, I think I'm forgetting something. Oh, yes. Oh, That's no. It's a new frog. Gentlemen, it's been over a year since the last guy burst onto the scene. I thought I put him away with a few 50 cow desert eagle rounds for the skull, but that just pissed him off. And now, he's back for blood. He wants to enter your walls? No. He wants to enter your skin. He wants to climb into your blood vessels. He is charging up the death laser. Oh, God. Oh, what is he doing in Anaheim, California? Wait a minute. Disneyland. Oh god. Oh no, <laughs> won't anyone think about the children? <laughs> Hide your family. Hide your wife. The children. <laughs> oh god. Do not lose sight of him. He is wearing camouflage. Whoops, I just lost sight of him. Oh god, where did he go? Not again. Once again, makeshift gets it done with the highest quality plushies I have ever seen in my life. Embroidered eyes, shiny gold fabric, a beautiful, warm smile. Stomp him, grab him, shoot him with a gun. He still manages to maintain his jovial cool. smile and can-do attitude. And now, he's angry. Gentlemen, we need to sell a lot of these plushies. You must buy one. They ship all over the globe. Even obscure, weird places like Michigan. There is no excuse. Time is running out. This plush... Wow. From Flint, Michigan to... What was it? East or West... I think it was East Palestine, Ohio. The US water crisis is uh, fucked. Flush is only on sale for the next 28 days. Hurry up, think fast. After 28 days have passed, he will be gone for good. And if I don't sell enough, he will harm me. So please do it. There's a link in the description. Hand up. Thank you, comment, please. <laughs> anyway. Okay. We're back. Killing them myself was rather stupid. So this time I made good use of my friend, Mr. Sun. 
Now, we've got bones. Bones can be made into bone meal, and bone meal into grass. Grass can be made into seeds, seeds into wheat, and wheat into bread. Gentlemen, food. <laughs> Despite our earlier setbacks, we were making decent progress. So, to continue expanding our wonderful island, I went back to the plantation and cut down <laughs> more trees. Oh no. Yeah. Well, Understandable. <laughs> and we're back. Okay, two trapdoors here should make me safe. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, we've got our bread, a nice tree farm, plenty of wood. What do we do from here? Well, uh, I don't know, but this guy's one of my own. Oh. Cool, I guess. He had a few things to offer me, none of which I could buy because my net worth was exactly seven logs of wood. Of course, that didn't stop me from murdering his llamas and putting him in a box. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clearly, as a form of divine retribution. <gasps> that is really smart. He's going to do that with all of the other uh, mobs, right? You can collect zombies that way. Shortly after this, I was brutally attacked by phantoms. Oh, uh, no, no, oh. no, there's four of them. Anyway, I had decided on our next goal, getting iron. Now, I know what you might be thinking. How? Oh. Well, I'll tell you. The answer is zombies. Yep. That's right, <laughs> zombies can drop iron, but only 0.4% of the time. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. We need to kill, on average, 750 zombies. Well, get collecting uh... them. Now, sure, <laughs> this platform does spawn zombies. Just not very many of them. But, we can fix that. An interesting quirk of Minecraft spawning mechanics is that the lower you go down, the higher the spawn rates. Sort of. It's a bit more- How do you build down? Uh, I'm, I'm just interested. More complicated than that, but for our purposes, that's good enough. So optimally, we want our spawning platform to be as low as possible to maximize mob spawning. Okay, so let's get down as low as possible and build a second platform. Just, um, well, uh, 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 well, it looks like we have a bit of a problem. How do we go down? No, seriously. Yeah. How do we go down? On a normal skyblock map, all you need to go down is a bucket of water. But we don't have any water or any buckets. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I sat and pondered. Hmm. <laughs> and then I thought of something truly remarkable. Uh. What? What's uh. Oh! <laughs> Actually worked! Wait, he Using was building down! Energy, I had descended a whopping 12 blocks. Wow. Very impressive. I know. I would have loved to have gone further, but I was out of enderpearls, and enderpearls aren't exactly easy to come by. Yeah. Maybe this method has some flaws. Well, with that said, once again, how do we go down? This left me stumped, so I did some high impact going down research. <laughs> <laughs> Place two of them down like this, stand in between them, My and God. this one. You're now prone. Now that I'm prone, I'm short enough to place blocks on the underside of this trapdoor, and voila. We have descended one singular block. Now to do that, about 130 times. Oh. Jesus. And here we are. That took fucking ages. My first build down here was a spider farm. Kill the spiders, get string, make string into wool, and wool into bed. Sleepy time. Sleep. At the spider spawner, things were not working out how I wanted them to. This was promising though. Clearly the spawn rates down here were very, very high. Oh, how wow. High? Well, why don't we find out? Hey, <laughs> that's a lot of mobs. Attack! <laughs> but there's a slight issue with this platform. It doesn't make iron. Yep. That's right. I have, in fact, just wasted a bunch of my time. Oh, the only no. way a zombie drops his iron is if I kill him myself. Killing them myself on this platform would be suicidal. What we really need is a way to funnel the zombies to a central killing chamber. We need uh... a mob farm. Well, that took several hours. Now, you may have a few questions, like Mart. They're why just is it made of stairs? Down. Or Mart, why are mobs just walking into the drop chute? Or Mart, so it's been down. 15 years, why is it taking you so long to get the milk? Okay. Sit. Mart, do you have some illegitimate son out there? 
<laughs> Professor Minecraft. Now, if you're currently sitting, sit down more. Have you ever noticed more. that mobs in Minecraft just kind of wander around? This mechanic is rather incredibly named Wandering, and it follows a very specific set of instructions. Firstly, wandering mobs need to be within 32 blocks of a player. Then, they search for a target block to wander towards. Once they pick their block, they find a path to it and walk off. But mobs can only target full blocks, like planks or logs, not stairs or slabs. I say. Using some questionable aesthetic choices, I built the spawning platform, walls, and roof out of only stairs and slabs. When a mob spawns in, their only okay. valid wandering target are these planks over here. With some trap doors, you can trick them into thinking there's a way across, even though there's not. And voila! Mob fun. Once they fall down the chute, they Smart. fall 23 blocks, removing all but one point of health, so I can kill them easily with a sword. This farm does, however, have a few flaws. The main flaw being, it is horribly, painfully, terribly, slow. If I wanted to farm iron with it, this design would simply not be sufficient. So how about we tear it down and make another one? And there we go. Mob farm version 2.0. 2. <laughs> mob farm v2 was significantly faster than mob farm v1. It uses my totally 100% original and not stolen design from Ilmago of YouTube Channel 9. <laughs> it has a larger spawning area, central bait blocks, and four drop shoots. Even so, farming for iron was still very Slow. tedious. Over 400 zombies later, I got my first iron. There it is. The oh, second, wow. shortly after that, and then the third, and the fourth, a little after that. And then, I mean, we had seven iron. Have a bunch of seven other resources is enough though. For the most important item in the game: pants, but upside down. <laughs> so a cauldron. Oh, Why cauldron, is a cauldron yeah. so important? Water. Exactly. When it rains, cauldrons very slowly fill up with water. Problem was, it wasn't raining. So I did my civic duty and got to it. <laughs> For coming from an Australian man. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't stop oh. this feeling. And there's no water in the cauldron. Uh, I'm, I'm an idiot. Uh, okay. Well, let's do something else. Animals. Very important for our progression and distinctly lacking in our Skyblock world. Animals only spawn on grass, but they can't spawn on our Sky Island grass because it's too close to 0-0, zero, zero, which means we got to move it. My first attempt at relocating the grass was to try to get it to spread down the staircase naturally. Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> this is gonna take so long. This idea didn't work. I waited over 20 minutes, and the grass had only spread a few blocks. To get down the 130 plus block staircase would take literal days. Well, how on earth were we gonna do this? I could try to kill zombies for a chance at a silk chuff shovel, but I'd have to kill something like 15,000 zombies. And I... I didn't want to. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. And then, it hit me. Sure, I don't have Silk Touch, but I know someone who does. To get him, all I had to do was cover the mob spawning platform in boats. And gentlemen, I present to you my PS. <laughs> oh, the resistance. I, this is going to be trapping them all in boats. Endermen, or... De resistance. What? My magnum opus. The greatest construction of all time. It's the bunch of... It's the bunch of bits. Okay, bear with me here. Once nighttime arrived, mobs began spawning on the platform. Many right. of them spawning next to boats and immediately hopping in. Very good. Once I was satisfied I had the right guy... <laughs> I, <see laughs> I was here for this guy. So I hopped in his boat. <laughs> oh my god! That was stupid. And drove uh, yeah. him over next to the grass. Once in position, his obnoxious block grabbing tendencies took a grass, firm hold grass, of him, grass, compelling grass, him with grass, immense grass, power grass. to reach his arms out and pick up the grass. Now all I had to do was beat him to death. With an axe. Ah! <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> I have a family! Ah! Using this grass, I was able to build a small animal shelter at the bottom of the world. This bit of grass, while small, could produce a fair few animals down this low. Theory, anyway. In reality, it didn't do anything, but maybe I was just being impatient. So, that had taken me an hour or so, and it hadn't rained again. 
So of course, I got to it. There must be another way to cause precipitations. <laughs> Club penguin. <laughs> Okay. This session of rain dancing yielded nothing. Even more concerning, the grass spot still hadn't spawned a single animal. Something wasn't right. I checked the F3 menu, and what do you know, this exact spot was in an ocean. This is my face when biome ocean. Mm. Animals uh. can't spawn in oceans. So I went back up to the top, got another enderman in a boat, positioned him appropriately, he did his thing, hacked him to death with an axe, scooped up the grass again, and moved it over here, into a not ocean biome. And a few minutes later... Ooh! Cole. And with that... Back to it. Noise. Brothers and sisters, gather for our lord! Plead for his precipitation! Oh lord, deliver upon us your wet love! Rain, I ask of you! Rain! I'm pretty damn sure that this is how Aborigines did it. They gathered a clever man just to try to sing them a song. <laughs> Give us precipitation, Lord! <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as it still wasn't raining, I killed some more time with another silly project. It involved a lot of wood, and fences, and boats. And it was constructed oh, damn. like this. <laughs> what was this silly new contraption? Well, it's an elevator. What a stroke of genius. All you just need is like a, the, the jelly thing, right? Just to make sure that he doesn't fall to his death. Oh, yes. For getting down quickly, I placed this single slime block. A slime block, yeah. Remember, if I die, all of this progress is lost. So it might be a good idea to think twice about... And he's jumped off. Bounce, yes. Just, oh, God. Just... After all that, it still wasn't raining. So, back to it. <laughs> the you know what? Me doing a funky dance isn't going to help. Then I might as well prepare for when it does rain and make some more cauldrons. Oh, my God, it's raining. Oh. Just like that. Just like that, it's not raining. Oh, what do you go? Amazingly, wow, we're, this we're time Mongolians. it actually rained. Now all I had to do was wait even more for the cauldrons to fill. So, really, nothing changed. While waiting, I murdered even more mobs and collected even more iron. This continued for a very long time. I did some random stuff, it rained, I waited, the cauldrons didn't fill, it stopped raining, I killed more mobs, I got more iron, I made another cauldron, I got to it, rinse and repeat. It took ages but we did get there eventually. The three cauldrons had collected enough water for one source, allowing me to craft a bucket and scoop it up. Oh, yeah. Oh. Once I did that, I used a glass bottle to fill the cauldron again, and finally, infinite water. Dude, you have the likes of Bear Grylls out there doing his Man vs. Nature show and half of it being like fake stuff. This is true survival right here. Like any good respecter of a chill time on the lake, my first project with this new water was a fishing boat. Yeah, we fishing. Okay, we've got our water. Next up, pigs. So why do we need pigs? Well, they're for our next big goal. Villagers. To get villagers, we need three oh, things. Oh, cursed a zombie villagers, real life. A golden apple. That tastes like Minecraft. And a weakness potion. Mm. I converted one of the shoots on the mob farm to this, which is just a really jank way of picking out specific mobs. Using it, I collected a couple of zombie villagers, and stuck them in boats. Eh. Fucking stupid. And I also collected a witch. You see, there's currently no way I can get my hands on a weakness potion. But if I make a witch angry, perhaps by, I don't know, punching them in the head, they have a chance of throwing one. And lastly, the golden apples. Originally, I thought this would be easy, since drowned have a chance of dropping gold. So I converted some zombies into drowned and killed them. A lot of them. No gold. <laughs> Turns out they, uh, don't drop gold. And have oh. it for several years. Nowadays, instead, they drop copper. Oh. Hmm. And this oh, you can't is where we go back to those pigs. It. During this whole process, I had been breeding a lot of pigs. So many pigs that they were starting to suffocate and die when I fed them. 
perfect. Using some of the copper I had collected from Killing Drowned, I made this. A lightning rod. Now all I had to do was wait for it to rain. So of course, I got to it. <laughs> And while doing some nice relaxing fishing, it happened. Oh, yeah. These piglets oh, had dropped no. a grand total of 51 nuggets and a bar of gold. Not enough for our golden apples, so of course, <laughs> I did it again. And there we have it boys, enough gold for two golden apples. Villagers, here we come. Apples. 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 Hello! I checked literally every single chest I had. No apples. Oh yep. no. That's right. Acacia trees don't drop apples. Oh my fucking... Bruh. Ow. Fucking... Wah! Well, this fucking sucks. Depression. There was a path forward. I needed someone special. I needed the wares of an elusive man. I needed... A wandering trader. The one who's Remember the very start of the run when I trapped a wandering trader in a box? Lamas. Well, he despawned long ago, but he sold saplings. Not the right saplings, but saplings nonetheless. Mm. To get a wandering trader to spawn in, I could just wait around the base like normal. But most of the base is made of bottom slabs, so the actual area he can spawn on is very small. Instead, I decided on constructing a purpose-built platform Bait. for spawning traders. To build it, I drafted up some high-quality blueprints, which called the building set platform way up in the sky, for some reason. So I built the boat elevator up as high as I could, and began work on the platform. And would you look at that? <gasps> the platform's done. Look, I am flabbergasted at, at his lack of guardrails. When the dude literally can just die whenever. But good on him. <laughs> He really trusts his abilities to stay in the middle. There's only one issue with this platform. Can you guess what it is? Yes, that's right. All of these slabs are bottom slabs. So, uh, it doesn't work. Oh my fucking... <laughs> Once I'd actually made it spawnable, I built a small hut in the middle of the platform and stuck a bed inside. This is where I would hang out for the next several hours. Just waiting around for our trader man to spawn. <laughs> One night, I forgot to sleep before mobs started spawning in and came back to my PC only to be greeted with this. Oh. So I did what anyone would, sprinted to the edge of the platform and uh, jumped off. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, no. Oh no, 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 but I got lucky. Jeez. Oh. Only after about 15 minutes, a trader spawned in. And even better, no. he was selling an oak sapling. There's a problem though. I would have bought the sapling if I had any emeralds. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill myself! Oh my <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's right. I had in fact forgotten that traders need emeralds. <sighs> Man. Back to the and end. So this <laughs> oh, jeez, stop conundrum. that. How the fuck do we get... Well, I scoured the wiki. Trading, turn of villagers, mining. Yep, can't do that. Capture <laughs> generation, like a chest loot. Yep, can't do that. And finally, mob drops. Certain pillagers drop emeralds on death. Well, that looks like a pretty easy option. The only problem is these pillagers don't spawn naturally. They only spawn in raids, and to get a raid, you guessed it, we need villain. This left me completely stumped for about 10 seconds, which is when I read the rest of the wiki and learned about foxes. Foxes have a 20% chance to spawn oh, an item in their no. middle, and 5% of the time, that item is an emerald. <laughs> Doing some extreme ultra mathematics, we can figure out that on average, every 100 foxes will yield one single emerald. Hmm. Okay. I think we have a new project. First of all, what I had to find fox? the closest biome where foxes can spawn. Uh... Aha! Yes. This spot was over 2,000 blocks away. Ooh. And to get there, I'd have to build a bridge. So I got myself a lot of logs, made some slabs, and started the journey. 
And I'm here. Well, oh, Jesus. That was extremely boring. Once on location, I began construction. Firstly, just a small platform as a proof of concept, and like everything else in this fucking playthrough, naturally, it didn't work. You know what? We need to see a collab between Marcy Tupins and Josh from Let's Game It Out playing rough together. <laughs> because this is insane. I sat there for ages and nothing spawned. Except for like 15,000 mobs. Of course. I would work the first time. That would be ridiculous. It just has to drive me insane. It just... <laughs> Later, I did manage to get it to work, though. The fix? Well, all I had to do was go back to base and murder all my livestock. Oh! Yeah. I don't know. It was something to do with passive mob caps and spawn chunks and some... I don't fucking know. Back at the fox spawning platform, the unthinkable happened. It actually worked. Fox! 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 Oh, yeah! Oh my god! The plan was to use this platform to spawn foxes, and then I'd stab them to death and collect their drops. The problem with this approach was this. Nothing. No foxes. Yeah, sure, they could spawn, but clearly they didn't Not like enough. you very much. I think, uh, I think I should make a farm. Here's a useful concept. Foxes are attracted to chickens. They sprint towards them at high speed and kill them with their face. But what if we put the chicken over here? Oh. And then, some trapdoors here. <laughs> this is the concept we're going to use for our farm. Have foxes run towards the chicken, pull the door stream, and drop them to their death. So, let's build the farm. With the farm built, it started working almost immediately. Of course, you wouldn't be able to tell because it was still a very slow piece of shit. I couldn't even automate it properly since I had nowhere near enough iron for a hopper grid, so I just sort of stood there, underneath it, and waited. And waited. <laughs> and waited some more. Wait a minute. Oh! What is- it? Oh my- Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy- Holy shit! Yeah, that just didn't happen. Oh. But I wish it did. <laughs> Once sufficient time had passed, I had finally done it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, nice edit. Our five emeralds needed for a sapling. Uh, Apples. Here we here come. come. So I went back home and waited even longer at the Wandering Trader platform. This time, I wasn't so lucky. Hours upon hours of nothing. Then a trader, I'd check his trades. They were shit. I would murder him in cold blood. Wait for repeat. another one. This, uh, really, really sucked. Many, many hours later, our guy finally appeared, selling us one of the two types of saplings that can drop apples. A dark oak sapling. I could barely contain my excitement. Holy shit. Hours upon hours of work had led up to this moment, and it was finally here. Oh no. I bought the sapling, placed it down, and bone mealed it. And bone mealed it. And bone mealed it. What? What? Oh, what? No. Oh. Yes, that's right. Dark oak trees need four saplings in order to grow. I had one. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Come here, you damn merchant. <sighs> there we go. The sadness in this man's. Oh. <gasps> oh, yes. Apples. Oh my god. Apples. Yes. 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 We had finally acquired the missing piece. Golden apples. Let's and go. So of course. Villager time. And he just eats it. To begin villager time, I brought back the witch that I had banished to the naughty corner long ago, <laughs> and with a lot of finagling, managed to get her to chuck a weakness potion onto the zombies. Yes. Uh, this was after it poisoned me several times, the <laughs> fucking dickhead. Then I force fed them the apples, drove the witch back into the naughty corner for safekeeping, I guess, <laughs> and waited. And there we go. I had finally done it. Yippee! 
Their new home was the old pig pen, where I placed down a few beds and threw bread at them until they... Until they... Oh. 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 Oh my... Oh. Oh. Oh my god. It's... It's a... It's a fully clothed child. Oh. Here he is. No, em no. Forget my emeralds. No. The easiest method I could think of was to employ them as farmers and sell them carrots. So I employed them as farmers, gave myself carpal tunnel by farming carrots, and sold them to the villagers for great riches. <laughs> Back at the watering trader platform, I, uh, waited even more. <laughs> and when the watering traders did appear, I bought whatever I could. Anything and everything. Coral blocks? Fuck it, I'll take some. Dirt? Yes please. Cactus? Don't mind if I do. Sugar cane? Yes. During this process, I had also begun work on the next farm. An iron farm. Imagine if Factoria was this tedious. Oh boy. This farm works by scaring the villagers here periodically with the presence of this zombie. Then this trapdoor closes, they forget about him and go back to sleep, and five seconds later the trapdoor opens again, sending them in a frenzy, sprinting in every direction at once, and spawning in a golem for their protection. The golem spawns up here, falls into this water stream, and into this chute where he is killed by cramming with these 24 minecarts. Ooh. My favorite part of this farm, however, is the boat clock. You see, I have very limited redstone components, so to make a clock, I built a small track, filled it with water, and stuck a boat inside it. When this boat passes over these pressure plates, it activates them and triggers the trapdoor. Simply. Genius. Phenomenal. Next, a trading hall. So I built a trading hall. Filling it with villagers was tedious and painful, but once it was full, I could start cycling through all the various <laughs> trades Absolutely villagers. Absolutely automated. It, uh, took forever. Like, legitimately fucking ages to spend removing their workstation, waiting a second, putting it back down, checking their trade, seeing that their trades are complete ass, removing the workstation. Yeah. With these books, I enchanted some swag gear. I got some diamond tools, I made myself some armor. Finally, things oh, were going well. Ready to fight. And for our next project, we'd acquire some lava. So, first things first for acquiring some lava, I need to kill some pillagers. Mm hmm. Don't worry. Well, that makes sense that's, that's easy. Using my, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I found myself the bounding box for a pillager outpost. Building a spawn platform here would result in pillagers spawning. So I built a spawn platform here, and pillagers began spawning. I was looking for a banner carrier. Killing a banner carrier will give you the bad omen effect. The only problem is actually killing one without shooting it off a platform. Once I had the bad omen effect, I went back to base and to this little setup that I'd built earlier. This villager and bed combo is all you need to start a raid, and raiders only spawn on full blocks. So, with the rest of the platform made from half slabs, I had a safe area to attack from, and an unsafe area that they'd spawn on. And so, the raid began. <laughs> Using my librarians, I had made the most ridiculous bow emeralds can buy, which made quick work of each wave. I had, uh... A little difficulty, but ultimately <laughs> was victorious. Beating a raid gives you the hero of the village effect, and with the hero of the village effect, trades with villagers become significantly cheaper, yeah. and villagers give you gifts. What does this have to do with lava? Toolsmiths. You see, I've been lying to you. You can't actually beat Minecraft with one tree, but you can get up to here. So here is where a little mod comes in. All the mod does is change the loot table from toolsmith villagers when they drop gifts. Normally, all they do is ah. fill your inventory with useless shit tools, but with this mod, they have a very small drop chance lava. of dropping lava buckets. Oh That's God. cool. Oh, there it is. Finally, after all these hours, we could make a cobblestone generator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To get myself Infinite more lava, resources. I constructed <laughs> a lava farm. This was great, except I forgot one small detail. Lava, uh, lights things on fire. Mm-hmm. Shit. With a bit of time, the lava farm had produced lava. You know, like it's supposed to. It's supposed to be. It made enough lava, in fact, for a portal. And so begins our adventures in the nether. Beyond. So, what were we doing in the nether. Well, all I needed from the nether were blaze rods. Which meant I had to find a nether fortress bounding box and build yet another spawning platform. 
<laughs> That's what exactly that. In fact, I was pretty lucky. The Nether Fortress bounding box was right there. It was really easy. Like, almost too easy. I shot a few blazers with my bow, and in a few minutes, that was it. I had all the blazer rods. And so ends our adventures in the Nether. Holy shit. The Day of Reckoning was fast approaching. Ooh. The Ender Eyes were made. Before going in, I wanted to be prepared. I leveled up my toolsmiths, my weaponsmiths, my armorers. I got the most ridiculous set of armor, the most ridiculous bow, and the most ridiculous sword, and made the final preparations. I collected all a bunch of wood for blocks, and I stole all my villagers' beds. <laughs> the first eye, and the search began. A thousand or so blocks later of just doing this, there it was. I said my goodbyes to this terrible place I had called home for the last several weeks, opened the portal, and jumped inside. The end, like the rest of the world, was a cold, desolate void. Oh, he has the music. Me, the small platform of obsidian, the bedrock portal, and the dragon. And so, the fight was on. <laughs> yes. Ah. What? What? Ah, shit. <laughs> I like it that the rest of his buddies had a similar experience. Hit his ass! Yes! Oh Let's go! God. Let's fucking go! That's epic. No, 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 Stop messing around. No, 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 no. We did it. We beat the game. And, I'm sure many of you will be pleased to hear this, we beat up Steven. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. By the frog from the link in the pinned comment, and I'll see you next time. Oh my god, that was so much fun! <laughs> I'm happy that Steven was dealt with because he did sabotage the project quite a few times. Okay, that was hilarious, man. So much work just to get that done. That's dedication for sure. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. As always, please do go and subscribe to Martin Stupent by the frog or he's going to come after your family and uh yeah if you like this video don't forget to give the video a like and if you want to see more of course subscribe that's it we should also have a wonderful day see you guys in the next one bye